time, that was the end of the 90s, we believed that the shortage of oil, we didn't talk about at that time environmental no. questions. We, I, I remember I said to you, one of your main uh, jobs will be to find new businesses that can take over when we are running short of oil. I was the CEO when, when the uh, uh, Chinese leadership made the political decision that China will become the leading ship building nation in the world. The question was, should we grab that opportunity? And we, we, we did so, and we created business which lasted for, for a, a long time. It was not always easy, was it? The, I, I, isn't it so that every CEO has his crisis <laughs> Probably. To, to, to deal with uh, from time to time? Yeah. And, and, and we, had, we yeah. had ours also, but we learned. Mm -hmm. And that's the important thing. Uh, it, an organization has to be a learning organization. I learned a lot from the service yeah. business during these, uh, these uh, five years. We also met a lot of, of our customers. You, mm. I, I remember traveling yeah. with you, and, and uh, those were also great times. Yeah, it was it was uh, an amazing time. Uh, I think there was great customers, uh, both in the power plant business, which was exciting, and that was a very new business for me. But I think at the at the time also when I was there, it was the the, the beginning of the green transformation actually yeah. taking place at that time. And uh, it was, you know, a lot of uh, renewables coming up and we remade the strategy where our power plant should actually be backup power or enabling uh, renewable energy like solar and, uh, and wind. I thought that was uh, really exciting. And, uh, and I think there it's fun because Vatel is really setting these trends driving the development, pushing the technology to the limits. And, and I must say, I, uh, I was extremely impressed with the new factory up in Vasa. And seeing that factory um, and uh, the setup that Vaz will have that really gave me a strong confidence about the future. Uh, I think it was a great transformation when you were able to go to the bridge of a ship and say that this is Vertsila. Uh, earlier you were there in the, in the engine room. <laughs> it was, it was. And you were then, luckily, I mean, talking with the ship owners, how they could run their ships uh, in a more efficient way. We, we talked a lot about being the provider for the, for the green energy. So those ideas where Vertsila was not only being the one who sells a, 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 a piece of something but rather talk about the, the transformation of the society to a more uh, uh, green. So, Jaku, personally, what do you miss after leaving Vatsila? Uh, personnel, the people in Vatsila. And those discussions, those ideas, and, 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 and also the fun we, we used to have. So, I mean, if we sum up the strategy for Vatsala today in, in one world, I would say it's, it's, it's about decarbonization. And, and with the solutions that we are providing, both to marine and energy, with the different type of fuels, the green fuels, the carbon neutral fuels, the zero carbon fuels, but also hybrid solution, carbon capture, all our service solutions, all our new propulsion solutions, we can really contribute to a customer's journey. So you see it as an opportunity, not as a threat. It's to clearly an opportunity. That's why think... ships, do you, you don't see electric engines. Well, yes, we do. But, but if we we'll talk about full electric vessels, yeah. uh, it will be uh, more of the smaller ships because of the, you need to carry a lot of batteries for the big ships. Yeah. So for, for if you want to go to zero carbon, it's, it's mostly ammonia. On the energy side, uh, you know, we are also a leader in our balancing thinking. So to, you can say that solar and wind energy is an opportunity for you. It, it's absolutely an opportunity. So there are plenty of opportunities. We do need to acknowledge one thing. It will take time. It's not over one or two years. It's over decades. <laughs>